Hey, good morning, guys. This is John Phillips with John Phillips Plumbing Service. Uh, it's Wednesday, October 13th. I'm uh, heading over here to put a 50-gallon electric water heater in tall. Uh, the water heater that's in there is 22 years old, uh, A.O. Smith, and it uh, should be an easy job. It's in a garage. No, the guy's gonna have the cars out of there. It's very clean, so it's gonna be in and out. Uh, I was there yesterday to repair a kitchen sink faucet and uh, gave the guy a price on replacing the water heater, and he scheduled me for today. So he actually had a, his own water heater that he had bought from Lowe's in the garage, and uh, I told him if he could bring that back, that I'd, I'd put a ream in there and gave him a price, and he went for it. So, 90-year-old guy, full of energy, loaded up the uh, water heater himself into his uh, SUV, and took it back to Lowe's. This guy's amazing at 90, so I hope I get there. Anyways, I'll uh, get some video when I get to this place, and uh, it's just another water heater, electric. Uh, they're easy to do, and uh, that's our bread and butter. <laughs> Have a great day. All right, guys, I'm here at the house. Got the electric turned off to this water heater. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this funky hose on here with this shark bite ball valve which only because the rubber degrades in these hoses and then you end up with black shit in your water in the washing machine but anyways uh yeah this is a 22 year old heater and uh yeah it's a beautiful day and i'm gonna get at it all right guys so i've got my pump here my water heater pump uh, I got my tools in here and the hose run out, but I cut the top I'm not going to waste time trying to empty this thing from the from the drain valve uh, It's 22 years old. It's got to be full of sediment. I got my pipe CPVC drop that goes down in here. It's about four Four foot six, so it's up off the bottom uh, From the top, you know, it's not in the sediment um, I'm gonna actually time this to see how long it takes to pump down a 50 gallon water heater uh, you know with this pump and just from going in from the top the good thing about CPVC is it straightens itself out when you push it in the hole uh, it's really good for that stuff like that fishing it down walls so anyways and it bends you know if you got a low ceiling you can actually bend it and get it in the tank uh, I just want to do a little test and know exactly how long it takes me to pump one of these guys down. All right, so I got this pump pumping. It's flowing pretty damn good. I started at 10 past nine. I'm gonna see how long it takes to actually pump this 50 gallon tank down. Uh, so anyways, it looks like it's flowing really good. I, I say going in through the top, if that's an option, that's the way you should be draining heaters instead of fucking around with the drain valve. All right, guys. So it took seven minutes to uh, pump this water heater down from the top. No fuss, no muss. Cut the, cut the hot side. Open it up with a half-inch nut driver. Slide your CPVC drop in there. Uh, and stop pumping so sometimes you have to prime this pump the best thing is to leave the water on and run some well can't do that actually uh, there's a there's a little cap on the top if you have to prime this pump you can pour some water in there but it's usually self priming uh, but seven eight minutes man this 50 gallon heater is pumped down uh, I barely got enough time to get the other heater out of the box and this thing's ready to be pulled out, so.